What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here with the Bangkok Bagger, the green gold wing of love, the one and only Shay Lisi, mother of frogs, queen of all the Florida men on the Milk Toast Pacific Coast. We are riding bikes that combined cost about $2,500. This is a $1,500 gold wing. That is a $1,000 PC800. They're both made in the 80s, and we've both taken these bikes on multiple thousands of miles, crossing multiple state lines, long distance trips without a single freaking problem. It's one of the things we do on the channels. I like to show that motorcycling is affordable. Everyone thinks motorcycles are so freaking expensive, but what people always ask is, where do you find these deals? Everyone thinks these deals are so hard to find. Like it's impossible to find a motorcycle under three thousand dollars. That's worth a crap. And I'm telling you, it's not impossible. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go show you a bunch of bikes under three thousand dollars, and maybe one or two over three thousand dollars. Because you know, just because I like, just because we ride around cheap, crappy bikes because that's all we can afford. It doesn't mean we don't like nice bikes too. Starts up every time. Well, almost every time. All right, y'all, we're taking this <laughs> $1,500 bike to go look at some bikes that are uh, maybe around the same price range. And they're, they're out there, I promise you. And I'm cold calling right now. I don't know what they got up there, but we're, we're heading to see the fine folks over at Burt's Hurley Davidson. You'll know I collab with them a lot. I don't know if every Hurley Davidson dealership is like this, but Burt's always has like a really big selection of metric bikes and they're usually dirt freaking cheap, man. You can go in there any day of the week. Like I said, we're just going up there and cold calling them and we're gonna see how many cheap bikes we can find. And there's a reason for that. Now we might go up there and find none, in which case, I don't know if this will even get made into a video, <laughs> but uh, chances are if you're watching right now, they were up there. But there's there's always just a bunch in there just hanging out. I wanna show you guys that like, no, you don't really have to search around even that hard. You, when it comes to buying a cheap, a cheap used metric bike, you can pretty much just start looking and one's gonna be out there already and i know that birds always has a bunch of them because they take them in on trade all the time and i, I think a lot of harley davidson deals just like they don't even mess with selling them they just send them off to auction but i don't know man birds pretty much just sells them for pretty cheap right there in the showroom and i really dig that man because if you guys remember when we went and uh, bought shay lisi's sports shirt willem defoe's the green goblin from Burt's black widow in port charlotte we ran into Burt there and shay lisi said like hey i don't even like harley davidson this is my my first one and out of Bert's own mouth he said I don't care what you ride as long as you're riding and I know Bert that dude's owned every kind of motorcycle you could possibly imagine from Hondas and Yamahas and Suzuki's to yes plenty of Harleys to dirt bikes Makos and everything in between that dude just loves wheels and motors man and that's a pretty rare attitude when you walk into a Harley Davidson dealership I know a lot of people when their hometown Harley Davidson dealership is Harley Davidson or nothing but that's not the attitude at Birds. Obviously, they love Harleys there. They do. But if you go in and you ask where their metric bike selection is, and you say you want to use metric bike on the showroom that costs $1,500, bucks, you are going to get treated just as good as the dude who walks in and buys a $45,000 CBO. I promise you. You know why I like Birds so much? Like, I like them for a bunch of different reasons, like one of which being that they donated a $42,000 Road King with a 131 for me to raffle off for charity, and we raised is $271,000 to donate to Forgotten Angels. Like that that part's pretty cool. I love that they did that. But really, you know what it is? Because it's a Harley Davidson dealership that it's such a party atmosphere there. It's just the freaks and geeks on parade. Everybody has their own style. There's people just with like, just that look wild as hell. And, and, I, and I love it because that's Bert's mentality. He accepts, accepts people from all walks of life. And it's the only place that I know of anyway, the only Harley Davidson dealership where you can roll up there on a 1989 Goldwing and they still welcome you with open arms and a free beer. That's all right, man. All right, y'all. Let's see what Burt's Barracuda has got in store for us today. <laughs> they usually got something interesting kicking around on the showroom floor. Burt's did not disappoint. They had plenty of used bikes in here, <laughs> including this bright purple rain, purple rain edition Goldwing over here. More on that thing in a second. Multiple bikes in here. I think there's a total of like five or six bikes under $3,000, like three bikes under under $2,000 and they go, hey, we've even got one for $500. <laughs> 
like this is a $500 motorcycle. Just went up here cold caught them. They got all these bikes under five grand, but I'm just gonna pick out three and ride them. And I'm definitely riding that $500 bike. You think I'm gonna get out of here without riding a $500 motorcycle? Definitely riding the gold wing. What was the, let me see the price they gave me on this thing. 2003 GL 1800 Purple Rain Gold Wing. $59.95, baby. $5,900 bucks for this thing. That is all right, man. It's the 1800, I prefer a 1500 myself, but these things are bad to the bone. They're fast, dude. They handle like a freaking sport bike. The other one that really caught my eye that I liked was this VTX 1300 because it's got floorboards. It looks like it's set up for soft bags, but you're just like a couple bags away from having a really awesome touring bike and VTX 1300s run for ever this is a 2005 and this thing's 2900 bucks so out of all these bikes here like i said there's a couple that were 2000 and they're more than that there's something like a, there's nice ones here too like they got a brand new bolt over there and a 2019 triumph they got more expensive bikes here too but of the ones that were like under five grand the ones that really caught my eye were those three of course the purple rain gold wing how could i not this one right here this vtx 1300 and $500? Are you kidding me? A running motorcycle for $500? Let's test ride these things. I want to see what a $500 motorcycle feels like. And I've test rode a $500 motorcycle here before where somebody snatched up right away. This one looks like it's even better shape than the last $500 motorcycle I rode here. First up, uh, because I know you guys probably want to see it just as much as I do, is definitely this $500 special right here. I think this is a, what is this, Suzuki Boulevard? I think this is like a 1300cc bike. Oh, sorry, a 1500cc bike. This is a VL1500. For 500 bucks, I definitely want to see what this thing is like. What's wild, too, is it only has like 20,000 miles on it. 20,000 miles on it and brand new tires, man. That's wild. And you know what's crazy? These tires are probably worth $500. Actually, at least he's gonna you know, test ride that blue bolt up there. Uh, a great price on it, a little more expensive than most of the bikes we were talking about, but it is like brand freaking new, okay? I'm gonna take out this $500 special, baby. You know, they, they gave us a dealer tag, but they only gave us one, so I just put it on her bike and I'm just gonna leave and not say anything. <laughs> what are they gonna do, arrest me? Let's see what a $500 bike sounds like when it starts up. <laughs> sound like it might have just a minor kind of bad connection on the uh, starter relay but i'm not sure i don't know much about these bikes i do know that uh shay suzuki had a bad connection on the starter relay and it would kind of click like that sometimes so maybe they use the same one if so it's like a five dollar fix let's see what we get here we still got the choke on i've never ridden one of these bikes before so i have no idea how long they take to warm up the bolt that shay's on fuel injected so she's gonna she's gonna be just fine Twenty one thousand miles man it's wild Well, <laughs> I'd say that drag special, he's a, uh, yeah, this, uh, this guy's probably seen better days. I don't think that's quite reading accurate. And I just immediately lost all the stock numbers off this thing. Sorry guys. Dude, I don't know, man, for 500 bucks, this thing feels fine. Like I said, the, the tachometer might've seen better, Dale. It goes back and forth between working and going wild. This tachometer needs some freaking riddling, man. <laughs> Other than that, bike feels fine. It's got new rubber on it. I mean, it just shifted through all the gears just fine. I haven't taken the choke off yet. Other than that, it feels good. It's got floorboards. It's got a backrest. This thing feels comfortable, man. I've never, I don't know anything about these VL 1500s. I know that uh, Suzuki shared a lot of stuff with Kawasaki. So I wonder if it's like one of those ones where it's the same as the VN 1500. The motor looks different though. How do you like it? Yeah, you like it? Dude, everybody who rides the Bolt loves it. I might be a VN 1500 because I had one of those. And just like my VN 1500 with its hydraulic clutch, it really just, uh, it engages all the way at the end, which is kind of normal for these hydraulic clutches like that. I just took the choke off. It's running fine. It seems like it's idling fine. Here I am cruising down the road, hopefully not running out of gas. I do have a low gas light on here. I'm cruising down the road on a bike 
that you could have for 500 bucks. Who said you can't get on a motorcycle? And of course, there's tax, tag, and title, and all that. So, you know, you're not getting out the door for exactly $500, but damn, dude, look at this thing. All I'm trying to prove, all I'm ever trying to prove with these videos, because I've done videos like this before, is you don't have to be a millionaire to own a bike. You could own a bike, you could own actually not even that bad of a bike for under $1,000. And it's like, if you had to do a little bit of work on this, like, freaking so what, man? You're talking about something that you paid under $1,000 for 500 bucks for, like, so what if you have to replace a starter relay? Give me a break. For this price, don't expect perfect, but Dude, brand new rubber, it feels fine, it runs, it starts. I'm riding down the road right now in comfort. Shift through all the gears just fine. This bike ain't bad. Of course, it doesn't look quite as cool as that bolt. And of course, I don't look quite as cool on anything as Shay, Shay Lisi looks on anything. And I love that Yamaha blue on that thing. Our tachometer is going, <laughs> going warp speed right now. Idle's just fine. You always worry about that with a bike that is untested. You're like, okay, once I take the choke off and it's warmed up, is it actually going to idle? But here we are. We're idling, baby. <laughs> We turned the tachometer all the way around. It's going. <laughs> well, there she goes. <laughs> oh, even though it's got about 600 cc's on it, I don't think this, I don't think this old boulevard is going to be able to keep up with that bolt. She's cooking on that thing. Them bolts are fast. When I say fast, I think they're just probably as in a 900 cc, about as fast as a 1200 cc Sportster. 98 pound Shaylisi on it. <laughs> That's pretty fast. Not bad, baby, not bad. Talk about freaking pure comfort. I like it though, it's got a big wide seat. If it, they re I would be really surprised if this didn't share just like an absolute ton of parts with the VN 1500, which is one of my favorite, or I had a VN 1600, which was the year after. So maybe this is just a, like the previous model, the 1500, they were still carbureted. Who knows, man, but all I remember about my VN 1600, my Vulcan, it was just so freaking comfortable, man. And this is, uh, with this backrest, this ain't bad. There we go, shifts through the gear fine goes into neutral fine the brakes work the tires are new it goes it stops it's five hundred dollars holy moly who said there ain't a deal out there at a harley davidson dealership yeah <laughs> uh, handles like a big old pig which is to say not bad but just uh very predictable <laughs> i would say the handling is i don't know man i think you could do much worse for 500 bucks much worse as in not running for 500 bucks so let's get this thing back and try something just a little more expensive and a little nicer do we have another bolt convert <laughs> i don't know man everybody who rides bolts really ends up liking them oh speaking of there's ryber yeah you don't have to back it in obviously <laughs> There you go, baby. Walk into a Harley Davidson dealership. That's what 500 bucks gets you. Oh, well, I was pushing bikes out of here for me and Shaylisi to test ride. And they're going like, what are you doing, man? Just ride it out. You ain't gonna hurt my feelings, all right? Shaylisi wants to test ride this uh, BMW F700. Uh oh, I think the heated grips are on. These are already kind of warm. Oh yeah, they were definitely on. Let's turn those off. It is still Florida. And while the weather's getting nicer, it ain't that nice yet. This is a cool bike. We saw somebody on the Blue Ridge Parkway, this lady who was five foot tall, just like Shay Lisi, five foot one or something like that. And she was riding a BMW uh, F700 and her husband had a GS or something, I think. So Sh Shay Lisi sat on this one. She said, not quite sure. We're gonna ride around the parking lot first and see how comfortable she is. <laughs> We're gonna do our best. All right, take a, la take a lap. Four foot eleven, dude. She'll ride anything. I swear to God, <laughs> anything she can. Anyway, and anything that's too wide, she definitely could ride. You just have to, you know, hold her up while she took off and catch her when she comes back. Ooh, baby, I like the sound of that. VTX 1300, man. With pipes, these are one of the coolest sounding bikes, I swear. 
Oh, me and Shay Lisi on two very different motorcycles right now. <laughs> both twins, <laughs> both two cylinder bikes, but about as far away from each other as they can get. How much did I say this thing was? 2,900 bucks? This is a lot of chrome and a big old bike for $2,900, man. Dude, I love this beach cruiser style, man. Reminds me of like some, some old school Road Kings. Road Kings in the 90s were always set up like this. You just feel large and in charge with all this, this big black tank and all this chrome sprouting right out of the front of your crotch. This is a pretty cool motorcycle, man. It's a good looking bike for 2,900 bucks. Looks like we got a Speedo that isn't working. I don't know why that would be. If you know anything about VTXs, I'll tell you this. Uh, people love them. So people love BTXs so much, which is because they last for freaking ever. They go forever and ever and ever. Actually, my buddy Blue Friend, who's a regular on the Discord and uh, is a regular commenter, you'll probably see him down there today. Uh, he's got a VTX and he loves it. Although he's probably gonna be jealous of these pipes on this one. This has got stock pipes. But people love these things. And when they love them, there's a lot of support on the forums. You can go onto the VTX forums and find out every single thing about this bike. And I'm sure you'll go there and be like, why isn't the Speedo working? And someone will go like, oh yeah, uh, 2005 VTX, it's this little blah, 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 right here. They already got the answer for you. Dude, that's all right. Awesome. <laughs> Make sure you check out Shay Lisi's video. Who knew she could ride an adventure bike? Uh-oh, something tells me I ain't gonna be able to keep up with Shay Lisi on that F700. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe she can ride that thing. That's so badass. I'm okay, well, I should be talking about the bike that I'm on, this VTX 1300, 2900 bucks, man. This thing's large and in charge, baby. It really reminds me, like, especially the way it's set up right now with the fog lamps up front, no windshield, probably it's got a bounce for a detachable windshield up there. It really reminds me of a Road King, maybe like, Honda's version of a Road King, anyway. It's almost kind of like a Vikla style, too, with these uh, with these beach bars. And believe it or not, I actually find beach bars on motorcycles to be so freaking comfortable. Oh, there she goes. All right, all right. I think Shaylisi's found her ADV bike, <laughs> the BMW F700. It looks freaking tough on it. Well, you know what? If I get to have dad jeans, I guess old Shay Lisi gets to have some mom jeans with the F700. If you're a guy out there and you're like five foot three or under, I hear from those guys so many times like, oh, I could never ride an ADV bike. Well, there you go, four foot 11, she's doing it. What's your excuse? Ready to hit up the local Starbucks and terrorize them. Meanwhile, I'm ready to go to, <laughs> ready to go to bike night on this thing. Like I said, two, two very different styles. And the guys who like the, big old freaking stretched out chrome bikes like this, which I do love, usually ain't the ADV type. And the ADV type usually ain't the type that like bikes like this. I feel fortunate enough and I do, I feel lucky and fortunate that I love them both. How boring would it be if you only liked one kind of motorcycle? <laughs> Why not? Why not like them all? <laughs> if it's got two wheels and a motor, that sounds good. All right, you might you might have me in the speed department, Shay Lisi, but I got you in looks and sound for sure. For a little bit more, I mean, it's a lot more. This bike's $2,900. That's a lot more than $500, but it's still pretty damn cheap for a bike. Under 3,000 bucks, you get a lot more bike. I mean, technically less CCs, but I don't know, man. I really like the look of this motorcycle. I really like, it's got uh, highway pegs. I like all this chrome up front. I like these, I love it just like the Road King. I love it when the, all the gauges and the instrumentation is on the tank and there's nothing on the handlebars. So your whole like handlebar cluster headlight, this whole area up here is just like clean, nothing on it. I really like that. Hey, look at that BMW rider <laughs> also doesn't use the turn signals. Honestly, she probably doesn't know where they are because if anybody has harder to figure out turn signals on your first time getting on a bike than Harley Davidson, it's BMW. This is a good sounding bike. I know, I freaking blue friend's gonna be in the comments going like, I want those pipes. <laughs> Hell yeah. You look so at home on that motorcycle. <laughs> oh, that 500 bike, that was the deal. That was the good deal, obviously. But I, I like this one for, for my money. 2,900 bucks. I would, uh, I would try to, I would try to get this one over, over the $500 bike. But uh, it's not like the other one was bad. But man, 
I just really, I just getting on this VTX and seeing this Chrome in front of me, and maybe it's because I don't have my Road King anymore, RIP, but congratulations to Mike in Portland. Uh, <laughs> I just got on this and I was like, man, I really, I really miss this on a bike. I love this. And it's not for everybody. Not everybody likes this style. You don't gotta like what I like. I don't give a crap, dude. If everybody liked what I like, the world would be a boring place. But I like this. <laughs> All right. Uh, she just got done on that BMW, but let's try out on a different parallel twin. And I know she loves noisy bikes. So uh, let me tell you, I know she's going to love this one. Triumph Bobber is, <laughs> again, if, for, if you're short, this is the bike for you, man. I have talked so much crap about this bike, but I very grudgingly had to admit uh, once I actually rode one, I freaking loved it. They're super comfortable, <laughs> they're fast. <laughs> and I had to eat my words on the bobber. I actually really liked them. It was just the marketing that I didn't like. And uh, <laughs> Triumph as a company isn't exactly my favorite either. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the, the noisiness of this one a surprise for her. She's gonna lose it. Purple Rain, baby, a GL 1800. It's at 84,000 miles on it. I think it was like an 03. 84,000 miles, these things regularly go like quarter million plus, and it's 5,900 bucks, man. I would fly across the country, buy this thing, and ride it back home. I'm over here to get your reaction when you turn it on, because you are gonna, you're gonna be such a shitbird on this bike. Right. I knew it, dude. <laughs> the shit apple don't fall far from the shit tree with this one, all right? And of course, I'm getting on Purple Rain, which is just like silent as a church mouse over here. <laughs> I had the loud back last time and she had the dorky bike last time. We're just, we're just switching places back and forth, all right? <laughs> what an asshole, I love it. <laughs> rain indeed now let me tell you those uh triumph bobbers are fast but these geo geo 1800s these things are rocket ships too man i think it'd be a close fight between these two bikes 5900 bucks for this gold wing though come on baby for the 1800 arguably the greatest gold wing ever made quarter mile million mile plus motorcycle they're rocket ships they handle like sport bikes these are amazing freaking motorcycles, man. And for 5,900 bucks, you can, I, I feel like you would be hard pressed to go wrong with this motorcycle for that price. You know what I really love about the, what they did on the 1800s over the 1500s is they went back to seven eighths handlebars. Going back and forth, like I don't mind the one inches on Harleys, but going back and forth, I will tell you guys, I think I really prefer seven eighths handlebars, especially on a long distance touring bike. Oh, you, you can't take her anywhere, man. <laughs> hey, how about this one? <laughs> yeah, not quite, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> Even Shaylisi weighing, weighing so little on that bobber, I don't know if she's gonna be able to keep up with the GL 1800. These bikes are freaking rocket ships. I might finally have the faster bike. I, I mean, I hate to say it, the only reason I don't have a GL1800 is one, I'm a cheapskate and I paid $1,500 for my bike instead of $5,900. Although, if you roll up on a $5,900 GL1800, people are still gonna go, man, that's a cheap motherfucker who got a good deal. But I just, I, I don't know. I like the GL1500s better. I just like the way they look better. But you cannot argue, you cannot argue with the fact that this is so much better you're like banging rocks together on the old geo 1500 and you're freaking shooting off rockets on this thing i mean the the leap in how much better of a motorcycle it is is really insane this is an amazing bike what's amazing to me is that you get all this technology all this motorcycle these that quarter million mile or more a lot of times they go for way more than that with regular maintenance you get all that for 5900 dollars for that cheap i mean old gold 
wings that you guys know that's that's my passion right there if one can be passionate about something as as bland and taupe as a gold wing but i am i'm just so passionate about them because they make the country a smaller place they open up such a world of adventure for you and they do it at such a low price with such a high reliability it's absolutely insane even on the newer ones. Uh, this cop looks like he's doing something, so hopefully he does not pull me over for not having a tag. By the way, we'll uh, go ahead and make a quick getaway. <laughs> One of the few touring bikes that's also an escape pod. Man, what a freaking motorcycle, man. These GL18, I haven't ridden the new one. I want to ride one of the brand new ones. One of the uh, the brand new, like the when they did the redesign. <laughs> Look at her go, man. Oh my gosh. As I said, as much better as the GL1500 is than the 1200, the 1800 is than the 1500. This is truly an amazing machine. And I just, I can't believe you can buy something this good, this awesome, this reliable, like something that can bring you that level of adventure all over the world for $5,900. And at a Harley Davidson dealership, <laughs> you know? You can, you can get it at a Harley dealer. <laughs> hey, look, yes, gold wings are where it's at, okay? You'll become a believer once you purify yourself in the waters of Lake Benitanka. <laughs> of course it doesn't do that. <laughs> Oh my god, what an asshole, I love it. God, these things are no joke, man. Purple rain, purple rain! I could really get into this bike. I'm I'm tempted, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like the way the 1500s look so much better, but wow, this is a freaking really nice bike. I am uh, sorely tempted. <laughs> 900 bucks, I'd still have to finance it. Like, I, don't, I ain't got that kind of money, but Man, I like this motorcycle. And the color, too. The fact that it's just bright purple. <laughs> I just, that sells it so much. It's, I mean, it's literally, I got the Raspberry Buffet. Can I have Raspberry Buffet and Purple Rain? Is that allowed? How many gold wings does one man need? You know, I originally got the 1500 after I already had the 1200 because I was like, well, I want to I want to be able to tell people how much better or, or which one they should get. Uh, the 1500 versus the 1200. I mean, shouldn't I do the same thing? Shouldn't I? Why Why shouldn't I with the 1800? It just makes sense for the channel, for the channel, for you guys I'd be doing it, for y'all. Oh, I mustn't. Oh, I mustn't, but the temptation. An 1800. What if I had one of every gold wing they'd ever made? After all, why not? Well, apparently we've switched places right now, and I'm Bilbo with the ring, and Shay is Gandalf because she says no more gold wings. <laughs> Why shouldn't I? Well, we've left the bikes we tested strewn around like so many children's toys out here. <laughs> but they're cool enough here that uh, when we come out, they just kind of let us, you know? They let us leave them around out here and uh, they'll put them up for us, which I greatly appreciate. Thanks, guys. All right, that's going to about do it at Burt's. Uh, there's a lot more bikes than we than we thought. There's a lot more bikes than we test rode, of course, but you got the numbers and you got the bikes for uh, all everything I rode and everything that Shay rode. But if you're going to call in and ask about any of those bikes, you ask for this dude right here, Mr. T, all right? Ask for him by name. And Make sure if you want to get the best price, you get the price I talked about on there. Make sure you tell them Shade Tree Surgeon sent you. <laughs> you got that right, Jack. Shade Tree, I appreciate you coming in here today, brother. Oh, We're going to pity some fools and take care of you guys when you guys come down here. I don't care if you're buying a Harley, buying a Honda, buying a Suzuki. You come talk to me. That's what, I, that's what I love to hear, man. If you're on two wheels, they love it down here. And like you I said, we come into this place and everybody's a freak. I you love got it. That right. I can't believe we got to get on this back on this after that 1800. Yeah, we're over here like, oh yeah, crappy bikes is where it's at. And then we're at a couple of nice bikes. I'm like, oh man. We'll see you around, my brother. Always good hanging out with the crew from Burt's, man. Those are some good people. And I'm not just saying that. I don't have to say that. <laughs> I don't I don't have to say that. What, what I do know is that they're good people. They take care of the people who mentioned my name. And they take care of everybody else, too. And they hire freaks and weirdos and guys like my, Mr. T, who were 
Not kind of becoming friends. I like the guy a lot. He's cool. Hey, I love all the people at Birds. They're great people. Uh, they always treat me right. They treat everybody I send in there right. And But it's, it's more than that why I'm talking about this. And I'll tell you the big reasons why I'm talking about this is I just like to show how easy it is to get into motorcycles. You don't have to have a lot of money, man. You don't have to have it for less. I mean, they'll finance some of those bikes. Not all of them, I don't you think, but you know, you can finance a cheap used bike even. And yeah, everyone goes, oh, don't find, I don't want to own anything I didn't pay cash for. Don't finance it. And you know, I'm usually a cash guy myself, but I absolutely understand financing something because if the option option is between never owning a motorcycle or financing a motorcycle finance the damn motorcycle like why wouldn't you if you're just gonna like never get a bike because you can never buy one cash like why why wouldn't you finance it instead of never knowing the joys of motorcycling and i love riding bikes man i love getting people into this sport i love getting people into motorcycles if i have one true passion that's it man that and <laughs> gas station hot dogs but i digress with the advent of self-driving cars expensive gas prices and and everything else out there sometimes i get worried about the future of motorcycles and i want to show people that it's not that hard to get into motorcycles it is an absolutely viable and very affordable option for somebody who doesn't have a lot of money at least here in Florida you can go get one of those motorcycles if you buy it outright if you got a you know a couple thousand bucks or shit even less for some of them you can buy that motorcycle outright and you don't have to pay insurance on it and a lot of people will say on top of that they'll go oh it's very irresponsible but the state of Florida doesn't require it so if you ain't got enough money to pay insurance on a car which can be several if you had depending on how old you are it can be three or four hundred dollars a month go buy the motorcycle give me a break and then even if you do ins insure the motorcycle you got to remember you can insure that motorcycle for a few hundred bucks a year what i always say about this about motorcycles about used motorcycles no matter what you ride no matter what brand it could be a harley a yamaha a suzuki a triumph i don't freaking care it could be any style of bike it could be a cruiser a sport bike adv bike touring bike i don't care i just if you are thinking about getting into bikes let me tell you for me it's been the most fun i can have with my clothes on it's introduced me to the closest friends i've ever had in my life and it's brought me places i would never go otherwise it's pushed me to do things that i would never even consider otherwise instead of just sitting on an ass on a couch and watching everybody else did it you get out there and you do it yourself and that's what motorcycles has done for me that's what my life on two wheels has done for me and i I want to spread that to as many other people as possible because I love it so much. And what I always say, man, one more ass on a motorcycle seat, one more ass on a bike is one more of us and one less of them. And you know where I want to be? I want to be in a world where it's more of us than there is of them because I love this and I want everyone to experience the same fun that we're having. And there's no reason you have to feel like there's gatekeeping going on with having to spend a ton of money. There isn't. You can get into it for pennies, I promise you. So give Bert's a call and let me ask them what they got on the showroom floor. You can ask about these bikes and if they're still available. I'm going to try to put that out of this video right away. That way the bikes are still there nobody came and bought them so if you do want them you get a shot at buying them and then also it, just ask what else they have or look on your local Facebook marketplace or look at your local dealer at their used bike selection if you're looking for something cheap don't let the idea that it's so insanely expensive stop you from getting on a bike and for all the people who are like where do you find those deals oh my god I could never find a deal like that well I just rode down without calling ahead to Burt's Harley Davidson Burt's Barracuda in St. Pete and I I just walked in and I said show me to all your cheap used bikes and that's what I found sitting on the floor on a random Tuesday so yes the deals are out there I promise you all right guys that's gonna about do it for this one as I said before when you call up there and you ask about those bikes make sure you tell them shade tree surgeon sent you and that doesn't get me anything by the way <laughs> like I'm not getting a dollar for that every time you say shade tree surgeon all I want to do is make sure that you get the prices that we talked about in the videos okay I want to make sure that they're there and those are the prices but make sure you mention my name make sure you saw it in the video 
so they take care of you and they know that's where you came from and they know what you're looking for and hell man if i was buying a bike anyway i'd want to buy it from bert i'd want to buy it from that place the kind of guy who builds a forty two thousand dollar 131 road king and then just gives it away to charity and lets us raffle it off that's what kind of dude bert is he's a stand-up dude and he freaking takes care of his people he's the kind of guy that i see him on the showroom floor and he's unmistakable see him on the showroom floor and i've seen him talk to customers i've seen him take his business card out of his wallet with his personal cell phone number on it and give it to customers i've seen him answer his cell phone when he's talking to customers I, I, you know what man that, and that guy owns two dealerships, Burt's Black Widow and Burt's uh, Barracuda here in St. Pete. The fact that he's that busy and he's on that level and he still takes the time to pick up his phone when a customer calls him instead of just shuffling it off to a manager, that's all right, man. And that's the kind of business, that's the kind of Harley Davidson dealership I want to support. That's going to do it for this one, y'all. Till next time, keep it weird.